Hi, we're Rory and Fiona from NCAD. Delivery riders have been in the news a lot recently, from strikes demanding better pay, to attacks on riders, to the tragic death of Thiago Cortez, who was killed in a hit and run last year. We'd heard that deliveries were up since the beginning of the pandemic, but their tips were down, possibly a result of a decrease in cash circulation and an increase in contactless deliveries. We began by exploring how we could increase rider tips, possibly by creating some sort of app-based tipping function, only to discover that this already existed on the Deliveroo app. At the same time, our research was uncovering a lot of worrying material about how the gig economy is undermining workers' rights and how increasingly this business model is spreading beyond delivery riders and taxi drivers into other industries with zero hours and other precarious contracts. The gig economy refers to a labour market characterised by the prevalence of short-term contracts or freelance work as opposed to permanent jobs. First step, we conducted research interviews with restaurant owners and delivery riders and got some interesting insights. Firstly, riders work way harder and longer than anyone realises. They are fearful of attacks and of cycling road safety. Restaurant relationships are really important and can be beneficial to both parties and it makes a difference when restaurants are friendly, generous and allow riders to use their toilets. Riders rely heavily on tips to earn minimum wage and appreciate even small tips. Riders notice a direct correlation between media coverage of the attacks and the rider strikes and an increase in their tips. Riders have a strong community with each other but struggle to communicate their message with a wider audience. The riders we spoke to were mostly concerned about the issues that they face in their day-to-day -day life, like personal safety, access to toilets and tips. We identified hidden and non-hidden rider needs and brainstormed a bunch of how might we questions, pulling the ones we thought were achievable within the scope of this project. They spanned the big gig economy issues and the small tipping and toilet access issues. We grappled with which issue to try and fix, communicating the importance of tips or communicating the problem with a system that has made workers relying on tips just to earn minimum wage. To quote Desmond Tutu, there comes a point where we need to stop just pulling people out of the river. We need to go upstream and find out why they're falling in. The more we worked on this project, the more we tried to separate the issues, the more we realised that we couldn't. Public awareness of the difficulties faced by delivery riders through media reports increased their tips, but it also brought the issue of gig economy working conditions to the fore and garnered attention from a number of politicians who raised concerns about exploitation and fair wages. The issues kept feeding back into each other. Our fix? An information map which would track a rider's day-to-day -day experiences, but would also educate about the gig economy why it's unethical and undermines hard-won workers' rights, and why everyone should care about it. Our hope was that we could help keep the bigger issues in the public and political eye while increasing rider tips. We thought this could be distributed to houses along with free takeaway menus or through supportive restaurants. We didn't want to ask riders to deliver, as this could put them at risk with their employers. Prototype 1. We got lots of really useful feedback about our map like how the version we laid out on screen didn't necessarily translate well to a physical map. What info was relevant and useful and what info was confusing or didn't quite fit. Restaurants seemed apprehensive about taking on the distribution role as they thought it could make them appear hypocritical, using Deliveroo even though they oppose the company ethics. They'd be more likely to share Instagram slides about the issue, they said. We got back to work. Prototype 2 had a new layout based on how we saw our testers intuitively fold the paper. We edited the text so we could deliver the information more efficiently and with a better conclusion. We also put a poster on the back as this had been suggested by one of our testers. We were much happier and ran a second round of tests. A few minor changes later and we had our final piece. Our final map will be accompanied by a number of Instagram slides with the same information. By creating an online presence with the map first, we can hopefully get a few consumers and restaurants on site and then phase in the physical map distribution in the future. So come help us dismantle the gig economy and while we're doing it, let's support and tip our local riders.